how to tackle your backlog. Grab all the games that you haven't played. Put them in a box. Grab one game out of the box. Then obviously you have to play that game. <laughs> I'll go first, because this is my backlog in this box. That's what we're doing here today. Fun video idea, right? Hmm, what are my senses telling me? I hope these are in a completely random order. Yeah. Mm, it's a good one, it's a good one. Oh, she chose a different one. Oh! oh. I always get Mario whenever we do these games, but I'm not mad about it. I've got Super Mario 3D World. Plus Bowser's Fury. Plus Bowser's Fury. I think we'll just skip her straight to the Bowser's Fury because that is definitely the best component of that game. Straight to the final boss? Yeah. What the nah, they're two separate games. Okay. Yeah, two completely separate things. All right. Bowser's Fury is like so much better. Okay. Hmm. All right then. My turn? Your turn. My turn. So sometimes it's hard to see in our videos, but these bottom shelves here are full with Switch games, like completely full. But as you can see, it now ends here because this entire half of this shelf is all my backlog. It's actually not bad. Yeah, it's that Laura's one was like one whole shelf. Look, so. I get most of my games digitally, so. Excuse me. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> so my turn to choose a game from the bar. Yes, go on. Laura has organized these randomly, of course. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna choose, where's the end of the box? Here? Choose a random game, take your pick. This one. Oh, okay. Oh, Nelk and the Legendary Alchemist. Oh. I know this game sucks. It's not that bad. It's like an Italia spin-off game. Well, I guess if you want to watch me play Nelk, we'll make Laura play Mario first, because let's be honest, that's probably the more entertaining one. <laughs> Stick around. And don't forget to like and subscribe first and let us know how big your backlog is to make me feel better about mine. Yeah, please. <laughs> we know there's backlogs that stretch like 50 years. So. <laughs> Atari 2600 backlog, what? So no, we didn't just change clothes to go from over there to sitting here. We had some technical difficulties, mm -hmm. unfortunately. Technology doesn't last forever. And unfortunately, as soon as I started playing Bowser's Fury, uh, the microphone died. So it was just us sitting around in silence. Well, technically we were talking to ourselves. Yeah, we were. Yeah. Anyways, we're back. Mm -hmm. So unfortunately we did miss Laura's like first impressions of Bowser's Fury, mm -hmm. which is a shame. But the beautiful thing about Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury is that it's two games. Yes, that's right. So you can still get my first impressions on the other half of mm. the game, you know. And I am going to make Laura talk about Bowser's Fury a bit because I know it's just so good, you know. Yeah. So that's where we're going to kick things off. Laura's a little bit into Bowser's Fury. Not to worry, though. We're still going to get some of our impressions, then we're going to move on to 3D World. Yes. Let's do it. So you guys didn't really miss too much. Basically me dying, trying to figure out the controls and failing to jump on <laughs> people like I am doing now. I'm notoriously bad at Mario. I don't know what it is. I think I'm bad at like judging where he's going to be jumping. Let's ride this guy around for a little bit while I tell you about what I think of Bowser's Fury. All positive. I really like the fact that Bowser is like hanging around in the middle for the whole time. You're just living in fear basically that Bowser's going to come and F you up. But I did enjoy the fact that he didn't actually F me up. Bowser didn't actually F me up. I think I just F myself up with the platforming last time. I like that it's very non-linear as well because I feel like platformers usually are obviously 2D ones are usually pretty linear, but this is like fully 3D. I like that. That it's a 3D platformer? Yeah. Yeah, um, okay, interesting, interesting. Hold that thought for the next Do section. you not enjoy that about it? No, 3D platform is like my favorite genre, man. You know that? Yeah, I thought so. I've got to get in from uh, the top. Don't mind our kitty. He'll pass <laughs> the camera every now and then. Nisa, come here, buddy. 
This is why we've got this little chair back here. It's, it's Miso's chair. He's so I can sometimes. look, yeah, so he can sit on his chair and I can look at the game instead of his ass. You know, cats, they do what they want, don't they? Yeah, they do. It gets really ominous when Bears is about to come. <gasps> Just let me get this first, Bowser, because... Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Imagine if I missed it! <laughs> I thought you weren't going to jump for a second. I was like, Whoa. Uh, no, oh, I Nice, there you go. First catch on of the day. All right, see, that one was way easier than the one that I had to go from the top. All right, here he comes. I did anticipate, I think because the music gets so ominous that it would be really hard to avoid Bowser when he came out, but it's actually not as scary as I thought. No, it's not too bad. Is it's it? not too bad. You can kind of just go about your own business as you were. That's what I'm going to do anyway. Just block it out like it's not happening. Whoa. And she did. Okay, I think I spoke too soon. Actually, it's harder to avoid. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my God, it's so intense. Jump, jump, jump. Didn't jump. Uh, oh. 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 It was literally at zero. I was about to give you shit about like not jumping, but you did it. You did it without the jump. Good job, man. Good job. You don't need a jump. I'm not so bad at Mario after all. All right, let's actually run away this time. Yeah, find some cover instead of just like swimming in the middle of the ocean. Find some cover. <laughs> or just swim in the middle of the ocean again. Yeah, that's oh, true. come on, <laughs> Mario, run. Dude, don't swim. What are you doing? I'm trying to find some cover. Oh my God. There's no cover in the middle of the ocean, man. Yeah, look, under this bridge. Hide under a bridge. I'm just gonna stay right here. Yeah, I was like, he's not that scary. And now I'm like hiding under a bridge. Okay, he's pretty scary. Well, after we successfully failed that mission, let's move on, you know? <laughs> try, try again. Isn't that what they say? Maybe... Yeah, but you, you gave up. I didn't give up. We've got things to do, <laughs> you know? With schedules to stick to. So we actually did really well in this video where I got a game that Laura had played and Laura got a game that I've played. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to have that kind of commentary. I'm afraid that Laura's not going to like 3D World as much as Bowser's Fury. Let us know what you prefer in this package if you've played it, but I mean, for me, and I think it's generally accepted that Bowser's Fury is just like so much better. So am I just getting to the end of this one like a classic Mario level or am I collecting those bells? Mm-hmm. So when I told you to keep that thought in mind, you know, you like that it's 3D. Mm. This 3D Mario is very much inspired by a 2D Mario. Yeah. You've got all the levels. It's not open world by any means. Now it's not even like a sandboxy type of experience. There's only eight points. I don't know if you've noticed that yet, but you don't yeah, have it's full like, doo, control doo, 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 doo. over your camera. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is, it's a far more basic experience, I want to say. Go! Okay. Meh. Oh, I missed it. I didn't get a hole in one, but that's okay. Zero deaths. Oh, zero death run. Nice. Zero death run. I know, that was just like the first level and it was like a baby level, but I really liked that. Okay, so before you start the next level, you know you can play as Peach, right? <gasps> oh, I want to do that. I want to do that. How do I do that? Eat my peaches. <sighs> Does it ever stop? Do you get anxiety playing these games or is it just me? No, I get okay. anxiety. I mean, I get anxiety <laughs> most of the time. You play. <laughs> I'll take you on. Got any more poops? Yeah, here's a little one. <laughs> I don't know, I think I like this better. Somehow. Well, they're both really good, but I really like this. You know, I like the sideways, the sideways deal. Yeah? Yeah. So you like the fact that it's less open? Because you said before 
I do like the fact that Bowser's Bowser's Fury is open, but that's the major difference. Yeah, yeah, it is the major difference. But you like that this is not open. I like Bowser's Fury, and I like Bowser's Fury partly because it's open. But I prefer this. Okay. Let's get this guy. Meow. I love being a cat. Yeah, it's probably the best thing Meow. about both of these games, you know. Can you? Maybe. You can't be Peach in Bowser's Fury, can you? No, no, you're just Mario. That's sad. Does that influence your decision as well? I think so, yeah, because I really like being Peach. Oh no, that's it, that's it. Yeah, no. Nah. Failed. Oh, I would have got it too. Okay, round two, round two. I think it's gonna let yeah. There's no round two? Mm, so it's a one and done, mate. Oh, it's a one night, one note only. Yep. What if I take it out to dinner? Then will it let me have one more night? <laughs> Okay, no. <laughs> the answer's no. Not interested. No. And you can play this together, right? That's Should we cool. try a level together? Yeah. Right, jump in. All right, yeah, jump control. on in. Who are you going to be, Waluigi? Tom loves Waluigi. He's got a picture of Waluigi pasted onto the ceiling over his side of the bed. I don't know why you would say such <laughs> heinous things about me. <laughs> oh, come we on, might be you? broken up by next video that comes out. <laughs> That's how much my hatred for Why? Waluigi so you burns. can so you can start a new YouTube channel with Wallowing. No. <laughs> oh, dude, what are you doing? What are you doing? You've missed two on your you side. Two. You've missed two on your side, mate. Oh my god. Okay. And I got it, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like this is hard. Those two, people. those two were on your side. <laughs> okay. They were. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> oh, you missed two. You did. No, you did. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Yeah. He's yeah. having a harder with me. Funner. Yeah? Yeah. It okay, that's fun. what this game has going for it as well, over Bowser's Fury. Yeah. It actually has a lot going for it. I, I really of, like it. I kind of run it off a bit as my yeah. least favourite. Look, I came first. Now you really love it, don't you? <laughs> well, I think we can leave it at that, honestly. I'm definitely going to play this again, though. Are you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. I really like. I really like it. I really like Bowser's Fury. I really like this. It's good. So what's so what's better? I think we've established it. This I like this moment. better. Yeah, mm. I like this better. Don't come for me or do. Interesting. Either way. Yeah, this is my least favorite three D Mario. So I guess take that how you will. Hmm. Anyways, should we make up my turn? Yeah. Let's make it my turn. Bye. In the magic of cinematography, you guys are not going to have to wait any time at all. Okie dokie. Nelk and the Legendary Alchemist was the game I chose. Unfortunately, it's not the best game in the world by any means. It's like really repetitive. But it's a town building game and it's an Atelier game. I love town builders and I love Atelier games. So I was like, hell yeah, this sounds like it's going to be awesome. I think I played it for like 10 hours or so. It's just kind of a lot of the same. But Wow, way to influence how I feel about the game already. No, this is all stuff I actually already knew, which is why I'm like, unfortunately. Yeah. Also, Ursha Gaming, not a fan of this either. And God knows we trust Ursha's opinions on things. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll find out for myself though, but this is one I definitely would never have played That's if true. we didn't do this video. So I guess, you know, the video is working as magic. That's why it? I love these videos because you really do play things that you don't expect. All right. Oh my God. Okay. So it's actually been like five or 10 minutes in real time, but 
A lot of story. Yeah, a lot of setting it up. Here we go. Now into the meat and potatoes. Yeah, I Finally. love meat and potatoes. Too fat. No. Mm. Are you sure one didn't just slip out without you noticing? Yeah. You're sure? sure. Or you're not sure? I'm sure. <laughs> Okay, actual gameplay, let's go. I can dig that. Uh, I guess we're going in this district here. What's it gonna be for today? Exploring, building? Let's pull the navy one, I like the navy. That's the worst one. I mean, it's- Some wrong already. No, it's great, it looks great, it looks great. Don't listen to me, don't let me inform. I'm not going to. Your decisions, it's amazing, beautiful shop now you can explore okay i can leave town yay let's go are you having fun not yet <laughs> yeah so this is pretty much the exploration i'm not even doing anything no what but the maid's doing it all for you so i don't actually get to control the character no no Really? No. Okay. So I, I was kind of thinking that. Is that all? So this game is all like menu based? Yeah, pretty much. Here you are exploring again. Oh my god, it's so enthralling. Oh, look, they're doing a thing. Okay, that's a cool thing, I guess. Here we go, just press some more A's. I don't even think you have to actually. No, I can't actually do anything. <laughs> Quite not entertaining. Just got to sit back, relax, let them do all the work for you. Mm. I don't feel like I'm playing very much. Yeah. Oh, look. Oh, a monster. Ooh, Here's here something. Boomage! You know, I, Success! I, I don't hate the battle system. It's just your classic. Yeah, it's. I mean, it, yeah, it is. But I, I like turn-based combat, so like I'm not, I'm not against it. I think it's, I think it's pretty fun. Yeah. Ooh, okay, this game automatically just got bumped up by a point because it's got beer in it. <laughs> yeah. Brew that but, beer. Um, Brew that beer. Brew that beer. Yeah, these are your weekly weekly results. That makes sense. I like that beer was your top item. Oh, mate, you know it. Only item actually produced. Who needs anything else but beer? Not me. Okay. Okay. You know what? You know what? Let's leave it there. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Why? <sighs> okay, so I have played this game before and... It was okay when I was playing it because I guess I was just kind of like, boo. But like, I didn't find it that bad, but watching you play it today was like actually quite painful. It was like watching paint dry? Yeah, man, it was so boring. Okay, so I decided to stop it there because I've known pretty much since about 15 minutes in that I'm never gonna play this game again, <laughs> you know? I got through the whole hour long tutorial, spent another like 15 minutes doing this stuff. I, I'm i not convinced. The Switch's library is huge. There's enough games back there that I haven't played as well. I, I'm, I'm not wasting my time on this. I'm sorry, Nelk, the legendary alchemists, Italias of the new world, but you kind of suck, dude. Yeah, wish I picked a different one out of the I'm box, sorry. but hey, you can't win them all. Last time we did this video, we both got really good games. Exactly. You know, there was always going to be a dart in there eventually, eh? Yeah, that's that right. And that is this time, so can't win them all. No, you can't. Maybe next time you'll get a better game. Next backlog video, because I think it's really fun doing these backlog videos, so I would love to do another one. Yeah. Would you love to do another one? If you guys want to keep seeing them, we'll keep doing them. Please like the video or comment, do another one. Yeah. So that we know, you know, because we don't want to bore you. No, of course not. Even though we just, maybe you were just as bored as we were during now. Sorry. <laughs> At least hopefully, we'll do a lot of cuts. Yeah, you know? hopefully in post I can make it somewhat entertaining. Yeah. I feel like whenever 
we're both like woo over like tiny things trying to make it more exciting that's really saying something yeah yeah chanting beer is probably the highlight of that <laughs> yeah oh, wait. the beer was the highlight oh. anyways thank you guys so much for watching appreciate you mm -hmm. we will catch you on the next one peace out my friends Mount Beanpole. <laughs> I hope a place like this exists in real life. An actual location called Mount Beanpole. That's what they call my... Oh, Mount Beanpole. <laughs>